gems and welcome back to my channel. So I've just opened my day number one of my diamond paintings. I just land Advent Canada and we are going to be doing these cute little snowmen that came in day number one. How cute are they? One thing I love about diamond paint, that's come in these gorgeous little bags. Obviously I did open the whole Advent Canada a couple of months ago, but as it was a couple of months ago, I cannot remember what is in there. How fitting. It's the 1st December and it's snowing outside. How amazing is that? I do love the snow. It's just a nightmare to drive on. So, yeah, we are going to be doing these really, really, really get, put your false teeth back in, Gemma. As I always say, I'll get my tongue, my tongue tied. So, yeah, really do love them. They are so cute. Really nice, strong magnet on the back. I can't wait to put them in my fridge. I'm going to be doing them before I get my, I'm going to be decorating my tree again as well today. So yeah, it seems like the perfect day to do it. So we've got all these gorgeous colours. Absolutely gorgeous. And I am so excited to do this advent calendar. Honestly. And I was like, it was so nice to see the comments for when I did the full unboxing. Because the amount of people that said, I've only watched one door and I'm getting it. Which is so nice to hear that, you know, that... The amount of people that did want to buy my buy this advent calendar because of me. I know there's a couple of people that said, no, not for me, which is absolutely fine. You know, it gives people the opportunity to make sure it's worth it for them if the stuff inside is worth it for them. Some people don't like the old little craft things, but some people prefer like big kits, you know, just do the one big kit. Me and myself, I love all different little surprises in each day. So, yeah, I would say personally for me, this advent calendar is worth it so yeah let's get cracking with this shall we doing the last parts on these I'm really liking how they're coming out what i did on one of them was i swapped out the clear for the um where are they going they're here somewhere i think we had several big bags of these drills right i swapped them out for these really nice extra shiny ones just so then you could clearly see the difference between the hat and the face. Then another one I did him in the shiny one, just to see, just to change up slightly. So I'm doing 11 at the moment, I only need a couple of these. So that one and that one. So we have a, quite a few left over. I haven't run out of a single colour yet, which is really good. Because that's the last thing you want, you know, when you get something in Advent Canada to run out of a colour. Right, number 12. only one, two, three. Try and just get out, and I got out four. So we only need a couple of each. I don't see the point in like tipping out the whole lot. So I'm going to get these done. And then I'm going to seal them. And then I'm going to go and open my day two. I don't think I can remember day two. So obviously I remember when I opened it. I can't remember what I got in day two. So yeah, because where I opened it like so long ago. It's actually turned into a nice surprise of what I've got because I can't remember. So I need three number 13s. Mm. 
Ooh. Always for it. Yeah. And here we go. One. Two. Three. Check me out. I can count to three. Right, so let me know in the old comments what advent calendars you guys got. Um, as I was debating like getting other ones, but I was checking out money and I couldn't afford another one. So, you know, I'm not going to go and put myself short on pennies when I haven't got the money, you know, think logical. So, yeah, I, I wasn't going to go and get another one. But I saw, I saw some other company ones, and I'm not too sure so far on day one. You know. I was like, mmm. But yeah. One of them so far is giving me big alley. You know, remember some those of you who've been with me a while will remember the AliExpress terrible advent calendar and yeah it's giving me that vibes but yeah um the yeah, adsip add more zest one is looking good so far that wonder's got obviously wonder's wonder's got lots more diamond advent diamond painting advent calendars than me <coughs> <coughs> so yeah if you want to see some more um diamond painting advent calendars um check out wonder's video after my advent calendar each day and you can have check out what they got what she got in hers so yeah it's gonna be interesting to see if she got the same designs as me as well or stuff so yeah that, that, that's gonna be quite interesting to see and we're on 16 we've got a nice big baggie and we only need a very few so we've got we've got plenty of spares there we're gonna have lots lots extra so which is nice. We I mean, can never have too many of these special shaped ones. There we go. So, yeah. I'm doing like projects like this I just tend to work out the bags um I don't tend to like use my storage or nothing so so yeah all my um little snowmen are done I'm gonna go and get my um varnish and we're going to get them varnished up and then they can be nice and protected when they go on my fridge all right so I've got me varnish out. I will be using a indoor wood varnish. That is what I always use. Really good stuff. Really recommend it. Honestly, if you're trying to do this hobby on a budget, this is stuff I would honestly recommend because it is like yeah, it it costs like fifteen. It cost me like fifteen quid for the tin, which I know doesn't seem like cheap, but how long it's gonna last? It is well worth it. Then a little little bottle, a fraction the size of this, of Mod Podge. And that doesn't last long. You know, you don't get uh, nowhere near as much as this. You know, and a Mod Podge is about, it's quite expensive. So this stuff, definitely a lot better. Definitely, definitely a lot better. So yeah, I would recommend this stuff. 
Um, so my little coasters, uh, coasters, donut jammer. Uh, my little fridge magnets are done, and as you can see, they are still pretty shiny with the um, um, what do you call it? The varnish I use. That's why I use this varnish because they are still really shiny, and it dries really, really well, and everything, and it stops it from sticking to them, but also still leaves things pretty shiny. So yeah, I'll show you on. This one so yeah that's why i use this because i do i do like the finish it gives and i know it's well protected with that so yeah so they are my little um fridge magnets that i got from day number one really fun little project didn't take too long but still you know and you get something different it is nice when you get something different it's not like always keychains you know so that is day number one. Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you ever so much for watching. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.